Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see the solution of our first exercise that is print all the odd and even numbers that comes under 1 to 100 separately. For this solution, I am going to use for loop concept. So let's start by printing all the numbers comes from 1 to 100 in our browser. So for inside of for I'm declared a variable called variable and initialized by 1 as our uh, number is starting from 1 and the condition is variable less than equal to 100 and then the increment operator in the curly braces i am write a function called document dot write and instead of i'm going to print the variable and uh, for readable purpose i'm just append a space after that and now save it and if i go back to my browser if it's this page you'll see all the number from 1 to 100 is now printed in our browser now we'll see uh, how to print on all the odds number that's come into 1 to 100 so what are the odd numbers are the odd numbers we all know that which is not divisible by 2 that means if I try to divide a odd number by 2 I will definitely get a reminder so how to check reminder in our code we already have seen the modulator operator which will return the reminder for a division operation so here we'll use some uh, conditional statement that is if else so I'm going to check that if the variable the value of the variable and I'm going to do a modulation operation by 2 and if it is not equal to 0 if it is 0 means it is an even number if it is not equal to 0 means if it is uh, any number rather than 0 then it is a odd number we obviously will only get one but I'm not checking that is it equal to one or not we can do like that way also but this is the best way so if it is zero then it is a even number if it is not zero then we consider it as odd number so in the curly braces I'm going to just print this line so what happened he here now e every time this loop will execute it will first come here and it will check uh, when we do the modulation with two uh, on the value of this variable and if the value is not zero then we're going to print this line on um, that means uh, we are going to print this variable so if we do save this and go back to our browser and if we just refresh it you will see all the odd numbers are come here that one three five seven nine that right these are the all odd numbers so now if I just change uh, this as is equal to equal to zero right if it is equal to equal to means uh, if, if I try to divide a number and we will get the reminder as zero that means it is an even number right so save it and if I go back to my browser if I do refresh you will see all the even numbers are printed over here that is two four six right so this way you can print both so we need to show all the even and odd numbers in the same page right so for that uh, we need another for loop so one for loop to print all the odd numbers and another to print all the even numbers so I'm just to copy this for loop and if I print it over here and here I'm just do a comment like uh, for loop for print odd numbers so and here I just print like for loop for printing even numbers now I just change it as not equal to 0 so it will print all the odd numbers and if it is equal to 0 it will print all the even numbers right now I'll like to print another things before starting the loop that is document dot write and in the parenthesis odd numbers okay and semicolon same way I want to like to write here document dot write when numbers okay now if I save and print how it will print is like this way this we, we don't uh, want like this way, right this is not looking good so for that we need to print a new line after printing 99 we need to print a new line so this will start from here so for that so what I mean actually is first the console is executing this line which is uh, 
printing the odd numbers in a browser after that uh, the browser is executing this for loop which will print all the uh, odd numbers and after that uh, the browser is executing this the, uh, this statement so because of that as there is no uh, new line is printing so everything is printing side by side so to print new line what we need to print is document dot write sorry there is so in uh, if you know uh, HTML in HTML we have a tag called break that is called beer so in a string if I write beer uh, so it will use to print a new line in JavaScript if I do save and go back to my browser and if I refresh see it's look good now okay so these are all the odd numbers and these are all the event numbers under a single window so this way we can achieve our goal and uh, if you understand well then please like this video and if you have any question or any doubt regarding this video then please reach out to me in the comment section hope you like this video see you in the later video till then bye bye thank you